when you are that desperate to have your child helped and here comes somebody saying it's fantastic, it'll work, you know, you, you'll believe anything for your child's happiness. This man who asked us to disguise his identity and change his voice is known in medical literature as John Joan. John for when he was born as one of a pair of normal twin boys and Joan for the years he spent being raised as a girl after a surgical accident left him with virtually no penis. When the doctors came out to tell your mother about the accident, what options did they give her? They didn't have no options. He just told her, he says, we can just change him into a girl and no one would ever know the difference. So John became Joan, the family and everyone else acting as if the twins had always been one boy and one girl. Joan wore dresses and was encouraged to play differently than her brother. Why would anyone think it could work? The theory was babies are born a blank slate when it comes to gender. And just as children are taught language, they learn to be male or female, almost from the moment they get a pink or blue card in the nursery. It seemed to work well for John Joan. According to this Time Magazine article from 1973 when Joan was 10, this dramatic case provides strong support that conventional patterns of masculine and feminine behavior can be altered. And these medical textbooks are full of advice for doctors that sex assignment at very early ages works, based in part on how well the report said things turned out for Joan. There was just one problem. The reports were wrong. It was a flop. It was a failure. Sorry. But yet the medical literature for years had said that you were a success story. Well, you know, if they call that a success, well... I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that I'm living proof it was not a success story. I mean, it's, it's, it's BS. How could they have gotten it so wrong? I mean, they wanted to. They wanted to believe it. Bad science? Yes. Dr. Milton Diamond of the University of Hawaii never bought the blank slate idea. What he found out, published in this medical journal, turned the John Joan case upside down. When Diamond located John Joan, he did not meet a happily adjusted female, but rather someone who had been living as a male again for roughly 20 years, and who was quite bitter about his past. I thought I wasn't it. That's what I thought it was. I mean, I thought either I, I, I wasn't it or I was crazy because people are telling me who I am, but I realize what girls do, and I wasn't anything like that. Do you think the doctors did the best they knew how then? No because I showed all the signs that it was not going to work, but they wanted it to work, and they let it go on and on and on. I mean, that is maddening. Rather than looking between the kid's ears, they look between the kid's legs. And if it looks good, they think they did a good job. Again, they're reluctant or not even trained to ask the kid how they're adjusting. Joan was not adjusting well, even though her genitals looked like a normal girl's. Other kids sensed something unusual about her and teased her about not being very feminine. I had like a, I, I don't know what you would call it, I think maybe it was a nervous breakdown. I'd uh, cry for nothing, I'd have the shakes, I'd uh, be huddling in a corner. And, uh, Finally, I, uh, after years of knowing something was wrong and battling doctors and therapists who told him nothing was, at the age of 14, John gained the strength to say on his own, I am a boy. That only began a new nightmare. He stopped taking female hormones right away, but it took years of new surgery to reconstruct a penis. And even then, he wasn't free to just start life over. To this very day, even though he is now married with three adopted children, he lives in constant fear of people finding out about his past, while at the same time, struggling with it himself. Well, was it difficult to have the reconstruction done? It was very... Um very painful. Can you have sexual relations with your wife? Definitely. Can you feel anything? Definitely. Could you father biological children? No, you would have to get your um, testicles intact for that. Does the fact that you look like a man, you sound like a man, you walk like a man, make it easier now as an adult to put any of this behind you? No, I mean, how can you put something like that out of your mind? According to Dr. Diamond, the lesson of the John Joan case is that gender identification comes from the brain, not the genitals.